and then the shorter one is less travel yeah that's it and it stiffens up the steering that's how I think it works but then again I'm just some douchebag working on a car so hey guys welcome back to the channel I'm Warwick and you're watching gas tags today I'm gonna start the build of my 2004 R32 if you look on this uh, whiteboard here here are all my interior projects here are all my exterior projects that I need to get done to make sure this car is ready for the ice racing season if it ever gets cold here in Chicago so ice racing season actually starts like now if this ice so I'm a bit behind so I gotta jump in and get working on it but first my garage is a mess uh, I don't know how I let it happen but here yeah, was the holidays uh, lots of projects and I followed my typical routine <laughs> I guess of not putting stuff back so I need to get back into the routine of putting stuff back make sure my garage stays clean so each time I get ready to work on something I don't have to clean up the garage before I start working so let's jump into cleaning the garage so we can work on the R32 So what I'm going to be working on today, because I think I have a buddy coming over to help me now, is the installing the rear sway bar. I have to drop the exhaust for that. So I'll be working on that with my buddy because I assume, I assume the exhaust is a bit heavy. And I think I have to remove it. But what I'm going to be doing is watching the Humble Mechanics videos. I know he did one on the rear sway bar. I need to find one on the front sway bar because I have that as well. They're sitting right there in the bubble wrap. That's what I'm going to try to work on today. Maybe it goes smooth. Who knows? Hopefully. And if I get that done, I'll jump onto another project. So I need to get all these parts on here as soon as possible so I can have my garage back and then I can start using my R32. A few moments later. So, what I'm gonna do here is here's my new rear sway bar. Right here is Kevin. Kevin's helping me out today. Thank you, Kevin. You can see how skinny this baby is, but let's get under the car. So, what I gotta do uh, is undo the exhaust there. Uh, actually, remove this section of the exhaust, remove the heat shield. And behind there will give us access to the rear sway bar. And then I can install the sway bar. Uh, these little thingies, as I've told you before, I don't know names. Um, I need to replace those. I did order new ones. But the one thing to remember is the R32, everything in the rear ends different because of the Heldrex all-wheel drive. So it looks like I just ordered the Mark IV Golf replacements. So I need to get those swapped out. I also ordered the upgraded bushing kit for the rear sway bar, but since I ordered the H&R sway bar, it's a thicker sway bar, those do not fit, so hopefully ECS Tuning takes them back, because I need them to be a future sponsor if I keep doing these things, because money doesn't grow on trees yet. So, let's jump into it, remove this exhaust, and go from there. Enjoy the shitty time lapse. the exhaust off pretty straightforward it's on the four hangers and just uh, release the front exhaust clip so lucky for us one of the hangers wasn't on so 
bit easier. Now, as you can see, I put the lights down there so we can see everything under here. Next, remove the heat pan and go from there. I keep on running around. update uh heat shield is off my bench thingy here is awesome i just fall into it <laughs> all right what we have here uh this little box looks like it's the suction for the louder exhaust but it's pretty straightforward from now on it's just two bolts here two bolts here this skinny little sway bar comes off we put the new one on and capiche for nido so that's what we're gonna do now uh, and then put it all back together all righty guys so that's off as you can see why my new bushings didn't work obviously these come with new ones so that's not a problem but this is i'd say nelly double the thickness um as the stock so and these are adjustable meaning you can choose which hole you want uh lower tighter um i'm gonna do stock height uh because i'm gonna be ice racing in the summer i will drop it down make it stiffer all right let's put it back on all right so pretty simple job um i mean it's 80 percent there because nah, it's 70 percent there because the other 30% isn't attached to the car. So <clears throat> here it is. Really, it's only uh, four bolts holding the sway bar on. These are the exhaust shield clips. But yeah, that's where it is. Uh, obviously, it moves. It uh, helps if you use this stock bolt. Then it's got, uh, I think, more travel. Uh, and then the shorter one is less travel. Yeah, that's it. And it stiffens up the steering. That's how I think it works. But then again, I'm just some douchebag working on a car. So now to put the heat shield back on and the exhaust back in. And then try to figure out how to do the front one. Sway bar is hooked up, exhaust is back in. Uh, pretty simple job if you're missing this 30%. <laughs> um, realistically, it's two, four, six, eight, nine bolts and four of those little weird ex exhaust holder things. Uh, simple job. Now, I think the more difficult part is the front one. I found a video. Thank you, uh, Mr. Abalone? Abalone. Abalone. Thanks, A Abalone. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, he helped me here. So, if you're looking under the car here, there's this whole subframe here that needs to be loosened. Um, whatever these things are called, swing arms, I don't know. Judge me if you want, I don't care. I'm gonna remove these because I got new bushings for them. So right now I'm gonna strap up the axles up here so there's no weight just on the axles. I'm gonna remove these completely because I need to replace the bushing. I'll do that on both sides. And then we'll, I've also got this, I think this is called the dog bone engine mount. I got new bushings there. I'm gonna remove that, lower the subframe, get the control out, arm out and uh, go from there. So here comes the time lapse. We uh, ratchet this doohickey here, 
we removed the subframe and uh, I ratcheted it in case it fell. We removed the dog bone. I think the engine mouth called the dog bone. We did that on uh, obviously both sides. Uh, so we could get the front sway bar out. The front sway bar is out now. But while we have these out, we're gonna replace the bushings in there. Because I have new bushings. And here's the front sway bar. The new one compared to the stock one. What I'm kind of curious about is why are there two more bushings on uh, the replacement sway bar? But anyways, here's what it is. I'm going to take these brackets off and then we'll put in the sway bar, put in those bushings. Hopefully you put all this back together as it should go. I did notice, or we did notice when we were working on it, clearly somebody has been working on this car. Um, different size nuts for the same thing. Uh, this front sway bar latch, how it latches into the subframe, wasn't latched on the left side. So we are clearly going to be stiffening up the drive of this car and uh, making it better. So let's jump into that and Fingers crossed uh, we don't end up with extra bolts. Yeah. 